name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Throughout the world today, the church would normally celebrate the ascensions of Jesus Christ. But here in the United States, for pastor reasons, we move the feast to Sunday to allow everyone to truly embrace the gift of Jesus and God's plan of salvation. The Gospel of John continued Jesus' preparation for the disciples as he gave them that beautiful passage, now you see me and now you don't. It's like a genie popping in and out of that lantern that Jesus proclaimed. Let us bow our head now and ask the Lord to forgive us our sins as we begin the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Create in us a clean heart, O Lord, and renew in us your steadfast spirit. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us bow our head and pray. Let us pray as we anticipate Jesus' ascension into heaven that in whatever news that we may anticipate in our lives, that the Lord grant us patience, O God, who made your people partakers in your redemptions, grant, we pray, that we may perpetually render thanks for the resurrections of the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated now as we listen to God's word in this missionary effort of St. Paul evangelizing Jesus Christ. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. There he met a Jew named Aquila, a native of Pontus, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla because Claudius had ordered all the Jews to leave Rome. He went to visit them and because he practiced the same trade, stayed with them and worked, for they were tent makers by trade. Every Sabbath, he entered into discussions in the synagogue, attempting to convince both Jews and Greeks. When Silas and Timothy came down from Macedonia, Paul began to occupy himself totally with preaching the word, testifying to the Jews that the Christ was Jesus. When they opposed him and reviled him, he shook out his garments and said to them, Your blood be on your heads. I am clear of responsibility. From now on, I will go to the Gentiles. So he left there and went to a house belonging to a man named Titus Justus, a worshiper of God. His house was next to a synagogue. Crispus, the synagogue official, came to believe in the Lord along with his entire household and many of the Corinthians who heard, believed, and were baptized. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for Him, His holy arm. 
The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. The Lord has made His salvation known. In the sight of the nations, He has revealed His justice. He has remembered His kindness and His faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord, the Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I will not leave you orphans, says the Lord. I will come back to you, and your hearts will rejoice. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A little while and you will no longer see me. And again, a little while later and you will see me. So some of his disciples said to one another, What does this mean that he's saying to us? A little while and you will not see me, and again a little while and you will see me. And because I am going to the Father. So they said, What is this little while of which he speaks? We do not know what he means. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him, so he said to them, Are you discussing with one another what I said? A little while and you will not see me. And again a little while, and you will see me. Amen, amen, I say to you. You will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A little while and you will see great rule, and a little while later you will not see great rule. Some of you may not know who great rule is, but great is the lector that just proclaimed at this Mass. He and his family became really famous because four of them are nurses at Cedar sinai If you missed it, you should go on YouTube and see how little while these wonderful nurses are performing for all of us during this time of COVID-19. So joking aside, truly grateful for you, Greg, and for your family. Good evening, everyone, as you join us in the celebration of the Holy Eucharist on this Thursday as we prepare for Jesus' ascension into heaven. As I said in the introduction, nationally and internationally throughout the world, uh, today will be a major feast, the Ascensions of the Lord. But we here in the United States, for pastoral reasons, have moved that feast to Sunday so that all of us can witness and live out the mysteries of Jesus' Ascensions. So Jesus, today, he's like a genie, popping in and popping out as he prepared for the disciples. And the disciples do not know what Jesus is talking about, even though he's been preparing them in John's Gospel, chapter 14, chapter 15, chapter 16, and chapter 17, are all a part of Jesus' preparation as he departs from this world. So as we come here in this part of chapter 16 of John, then and ask us the questions, do you have an exit strategy? As Jesus' exit strategy is ascending to heaven, returning to God the Father. But exit strategy is something we all need to have in our life. And certain exit strategy may take a long time, especially when we are in a very difficult relationship. A relationship that can be very abusive, and yet we don't know how to find that exit strategy. I remember when I used to work, one of the firm that I worked for, having a lot of financial situation with cash flow, and we keep moving cash from one company, from one situation to the next, 
And I keep asking myself, when and where is my exit strategy to this company? Where am I going to move on versus helping them out, assisting them before they file for chapter 11? But exit strategy is such an important part of our journey. Some exit strategies, definitely, they're anticipated departures. Or other can be an unexpected uh, departures. Whatever that may be, we need to have some form of exit strategies in our life. Millennial has this expressions or abbreviations or acronym called FOMO. F-O-M-O. It stands for fear of missing out. Sometimes because of that fear of missing out, they can't find the exit strategy. They, can, they keep hanging on to something that they, they hope to see and yet it doesn't happen. Or fear of missing out that we keep staying up all night waiting for someone to come home and we know that person's not going to come home or that person's not going to return. But that FOMO is so deep that we keep hanging on to it. Or the other part of millennial situation, a young people situation, we all go through. Another form of FOMO is fear of moving out. Missing out to moving out. It's also a scenario that we all have to face. Moving out from home, when we just turn graduate from high school, Many are beginning to graduate now from high school. Or moving out to another company maybe. Or where your company is asking you to move out in another location, another country. And then you have to ask the questions. Is there an exit strategy for me when my company decides to move out from California to another state or to another country? Am I going to stay with that company or am I going to Quit the company. So what is it for you? But maybe another situation of FOMO for me is fear of moving on. Fear of moving on. Maybe that's what the disciples are struggling with. How are they going to move on with their life without Jesus Christ in their life? And so they keep asking that question. Even though Jesus keeps telling them, I am going to the Father. But they can't move on with their life. And they're still stuck. And maybe we too, we can't move on with our life because certain tragedy that have happened to us recently or in the past. And so what will allow you to find that exit strategy where you will not say, I am not going to be the next FOMO. Fear of missing out. Fear of of moving out or fear of moving on. Jesus is ready in his anticipated departures. He is a symbol for all of us. So don't wait, don't linger, but make that decision for yourself and for those whom you love dearly. Trusting that God is always present in our midst, wherever we are, let us offer our petition to the Lord during this time of the pandemic. For each petition, the response is, Lord, heal our world and calm our spirits. Lord, heal our world and calm our spirits. We pray for an understanding of the wisdom of God, which has been revealed to us through the death of His Son on the cross. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Lord, world and, and calm our spirits. spirits. We pray for the courage to stand for the truth, even when that is embarrassing and inconvenient. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our world and calm our spirits. We pray for an awareness of the goodness of God as revealed in all His creatures. 
Lord, Lord, hear our world and calm our spirits. We pray for theologians and authors, that they may respect the Word of God, the source of all truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, heal our world and calm our spirits. We pray that we may understand that Jesus reveals the Father fully to us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord heal, heal our world and calm our spirits. For all who have died, especially for the souls of Don Schufeld, Rosa and Merita Rubio, Juan Carlos Siska, and Carmelita de los Reyes, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord heal our world and calm our spirits. Loving and merciful God, embrace each one of us in this journey of life and of faith. Accept and receive all of our petitions, for we make them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated as we begin the second part of our liturgy, Liturgy Holy Eucharist. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. the wine we offer you, through the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Our gifts are ready. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord send the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name and the good of all His holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings set purified by your graciousness. We may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just that we be our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. But in this time, above all, to lock you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, the universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. For those of you at home, we invite you either to stand or to kneel. If you're not able to, we invite you to please be seated. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls. That they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed into willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread, set the blessings, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Jesus' death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to your colors worthy to be in your presence and ministers to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we get to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the assistant bishops, and your entire people. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who are falling asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who we have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, who may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We invite you to please stand and pray. In the word that Jesus taught us, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we are always free from sin, and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And be with you. the sign of God's peace and love. Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Worthy that you should enter to my roof, for only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
We invite those of you who are at home to join us in this spiritual communion, to invite Jesus Christ into your heart, into your soul. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. In silence we pause. Please stand for concluding prayer. Let us bow our head and pray that in our own exit strategies from this world that we always embrace our faith. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrections of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to please be seated now and join us at the Rosary. In this Thursday's the Luminous Mystery, the fourth Luminous Mystery, is the Transfiguration. The Transfiguration is the mysteries of light are excellent traditionally believed to have taken place on Mount Tabor. The glory of the Godhead shines forth from the face of Christ as the Father commands the astonished apostle to listen to him in Luke's Gospel, chapter 9, and to prepare to experience with him the agony of the passions, so as to come with him to the joy of the resurrections and a life transfigured by the Holy Spirit. So the fruits of this decade, then, is the desire for holiness. Jesus gave three of his closest friends a glimpse of his glory at the Transfiguration. We too are called to holiness and to ultimately live in glory in heaven. But we need to want it, and we need to want it more than what the world and the devil attempt to offer us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever, shall be world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, sins. Save, save us from the fires of hell, hell. and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. mercy. Amen. Let us pray the first prayer for this, for Pope, according to Pope Francis, for the end of the pandemic. Together, O oh oh Mary, you shine continuously on our, our journey. journey. As a sign of salvation and hope, we entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the foot of the cross were united with Jesus' suffering and persevered in your faith. Protectress of the Roman people, you know our needs, and we know that you will move up right, so that as a Cana in Galilee, joy and celebration may return after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of the Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the will of the Father and to do what Jesus tells us. For he took upon himself our suffering and burdened himself with our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit, I invite you to please stand. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.